Marco Polo isn't just big, it is the trailblazer for a new generation of giant ships. Within a decade, it's thought half the world's containers will be carried on ships this size. Forty years ago, Southampton welcomed the first container ship to the UK. It was tiny by today's standards. Marco Polo is more than eight times bigger. Its job, carrying cargo between China and Europe. Big ships, you know, they can still carry containers for quite competitive price and uh, can save a fuel, uh, actually, in the, in the last. So the bigger they get, the cheaper they are to run? Yes, yes, yes. Here's an outline of the ship. It is this much bigger than Cunard's transatlantic liner, Queen Mary II. The huge French aircraft carrier, Charles de Gaulle, looks small by comparison. And this, down at the bottom of the screen, is the largest passenger aircraft, the A380. Yet this giant ship needs only 27 crew. Registered in Britain, it is by far the largest ship to fly the Red Ensign. To make room for the new ships, a new terminal is being built. Last week, the port was given permission to dredge nearly half a million cubic metres of mud between the terminal and Marchwood to widen the channel. Ships are getting larger, whether it's the car carriers, whether it's the cruise ships, and now it's the container ships. People will get into the high streets and they want to pay as little as possible on the retailers, and basically it's about economies of scale. About 9% of everything that comes in or out of Britain comes through here. In particular, the Far East trade is concentrated in Southampton. Globally, both the containers and the ships that carry them are getting bigger. So the port facilities have to get bigger too. Paul Clifton, BBC South Today, Southampton Docks.